we introduce ROMP, a one-stage method for regressing multiple 3D people from a single image. With only a single RGB camera, ROMP captures the 3D poses and motions of all people in the scene. This goes beyond work on single-person capture, enabling many applications. Existing methods follow a multi-stage pipeline. They first detect each person, and then they regress the 3D pose and shape for each of them independently. This two-stage approach can't exploit the full image information, producing unsatisfactory results. Especially when people are truncated by the image frame or occluded by other people, these multi-stage methods often fail. Therefore, we develop ROMP, which stands for Regression of Multiple People. ROMP is a conceptually simple one-stage method. The concise one-stage architecture helps ROMP run in real time. Additionally, ROMP is more robust to occlusion and truncation than previous methods. ROMP works well even with the heavy occlusion in this video. The key to achieving this lies in the representation. We observe that multi-state pipelines use an implicit bounding box level representation. When there's strong person-person -person occlusion in the box, the solution is ambiguous. At the level of the bounding box, it's hard to separate overlapping people. Therefore, we develop a body-center guided representation for fine-grained pixel level estimation. We estimate a body center heat map and a mesh parameter map from the image. To obtain output bodies, we sample the parameter vectors from the mesh parameter map based on the guidance of the body center heat map. The pixel level body center heat map helps disambiguate people, while the mesh parameter map captures the body parameters of the different people. ROMP is built using a simple multi-head architecture. Each head estimates different maps from the backbone features. The mesh parameter map is the combination combination of the camera and simple maps. At each position, the parameter vector describes pose, shape, and location of a 3D body mesh. During inference, we sample the parameter vectors at the body centers to get the final results. We observe that when two people are too close, their body centers are hard to distinguish from the body center heat map. To address this problem, we introduce a collision-aware representation named CAR. When two centers are close to each other, CAR has the effect of pushing them apart. The proposed CAR can help the model to effectively learn from the cases with severe person-person occlusion. We perform quantitative, qualitative experiments to measure how ROMP performs in comparison to previous methods. We evaluate ROMP on the challenging, in the wild, 3D PW and crowd pose benchmarks. On 3D PW, we report the mean per joint position error between the ground truth and the estimated 3D pose in millimeters. On crowd pose, we report the average precision Decision between the ground truth and the 2D projection of the predicted 3D pose. We also report the frame rate of ROMP running on a 1070 Ti GPU. This chart shows the reconstruction error of the recent state-of-the-art methods on the 3D PW dataset. All methods directly evaluate the entire dataset without using ground truth during training and inference. Spin and Vibe are single-person methods. They rely on open pose or YOLO to detect the person in the general multi-person cases. CRMH is built on the complex, faster RCNN framework. ROM produces the reconstruction error relative to these state-of-the-art methods by a significant margin. Here are some qualitative results of ROMP on 3DPW. We observe that the ground truth is defined for only one or two people, but ROMP estimates the motion of most of the people in the scene. On crowd pose, the left chart shows the 2D pose accuracy of CRMH and ROMP. ROMP significantly outperforms CRMH in crowded scenes. Adding the proposed car approach further improves the accuracy. The right chart shows the FPS variations of ROMP and VIBE when processing images with different numbers of people. ROMP steadily maintains the real-time inference speed over 30 FPS regardless of the number of people in the image, while the FPS of VIBE rapidly decreases. We also perform qualitative comparisons between ROMP, VIBE, and CRMH in more internet videos. ROMP performs better than both state-of-the-art methods, especially in person-person occlusion cases. In conclusion, we also introduce a collision-aware representation to handle the person-person occlusion. ROMP is the first open-source, real-time method in this field. ROMP achieves superior performance than state-of-the-art methods on multiple benchmarks. Thanks for your time.